Travis Wayne Goodsell. Uh, doing some uh, checking on things. Uh, have uh, got updated information for you. Uh, Independence, Missouri is not going to be destroyed until this Friday. <laughs> it's been bumped up. That's what I was kind of concerned of. Uh, uh, Ventus guy does not do well over land, first of all. Uh, it does better over the seas. Uh, but uh, when I first noticed it, when the Holy Ghost inspired me to check it out, and sure enough, found it on the very last day of, of uh, Ventus Guy's uh, forecasts, and uh, that was on the 13th, and so now it's been bumped up to Friday the 11th. Hi. Uh, I did a wind test on the video that I'll show you, uh, and even though it shows uh, in the teens and up as high as 23 for Independence, Missouri, uh, that's no, it, yeah, the speed is much higher because during uh, tornadoes or not tornadoes, during hurricanes, uh, the wind speed also. Uh, you know, category twos are around twenties. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, these are still pretty strong winds. Um, but it, it, for the most part, the eye of it goes over the top of Independence, Missouri, and I think even Adam on Diamond. Uh, not too sure how far up Adam on Adam on Diamond is but uh, they will be affected by very strong winds and, uh, and so Friday and Friday is Hanukkah dreidel time all of you Mormons pull out your dreidels because remember we're pre-captivity Jew yes I paused for effect because Mormons are like, what? Huh? What? We're Christian. <laughs> what do you mean, Jew? And what's this pre-captivity? What does that mean? Yeah, well done, guys. you still under condemnation for not adhering to your Book of Mormon. Right there in 1 Nephi chapter 1, verse 2. The learning of the Jews. And as it says... The first year of the reign of King Zedekiah, therefore, it's pre-captivity Jews. Because captivity Jews are the Babylonian conquered Jews. And that's what 1 Nephi chapter 1 goes over. Right from the beginning of the book, Babylon is coming to destroy Jerusalem. They already conquered it put Zedekiah as their puppet king on the throne of Jerusalem. And then Neph Lehi goes into the sign of the Son of Man, which the date for that is 23rd September 2017. Huh. What, you mean it's not BC? It's during our election year? When Trump took over on the throne with controversy of Russia may be putting him on the throne? Uh, no, Travis, you're way off base. No, the Book of Mormon is real history and has nothing to do with some secret code conspiracy theory. The Book of Mormon is true history, and Joseph Smith is a true prophet, and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is true. You're a false prophet, Travis. None of that is true. <sighs> Having fun living in denial? President Russell M. Nelson ordered you to wear masks. And so you decided to not wear your masks? Be rebellious against Russell M. Nelson and the church that you claim is true? Mm-hmm. What was the other one? There are two others. 
But uh, yeah, he pulled the stunt for devotional of uh, not wearing a mask himself. <laughs> he and Oaks just not wearing masks. Yeah, we don't wear masks. Token of bravery. And so, yeah, there's that. Uh, today. Uh, the moon is limp for the constellation of Leo and I'm sure women have no clue as to what I'm talking about men are like oh no oh crap not limp <laughs> and it's for the religious moon which means that uh, Leo which uh, for the sign of the Son of Man had to add three additional apostles because of the three that were dead needed to be replaced that was from 2014 to 2015 you know when the church said that there is no such thing as a second coming it's not happening there are no signs in the heavens to look for Mormons are getting extreme and they need to repent and follow us. What? Are we not Latter day Saints? <laughs> what do you mean we're not Latter day Saints? Oh, we're hinge pointing. Got it. And so, yes, that's right now. <clears throat> Leo the lion is limp and so uh, uh, this Friday is Hanukkah and uh, if you're unfamiliar with Hanukkah uh, it's the uh, that section or the chapter it's the book of Maccabees in our Old Testament so pull out your Old Testaments because this was from the 1769 King James Version that Joseph Smith used and we continue to use that King James Version of the Bible because it's the one Joseph Smith used so open up your Bibles in your quad and turn to Maccabees now Spencer W. Kimball booted out the Apocrypha so we no longer have it. Uh, the Book of Maccabees is also where the name Nephi appears. So yeah, we have to get rid of that, don't we? <laughs> we can't have any other outside connections to the name Nephi. Too confusing. But uh, the Maccabees uh, the Greeks when they conquered Persia with Alexander the Great after the Jews were returned to Jerusalem and they rebuilt the temple <coughs> the Greeks conquered the temple <laughs> and took it as their own and offered pigs and so uh, I'm sure that's where the phrase when pigs fly <laughs> I, no, it's not. But uh, yeah, they were offering swine, which is a direct violation of the Torah dietary law of Moses. And so the, the Jews were deeply offended and formed a military group to retake the temple. And when they retook the temple, they had to light the menorah to keep it burning. And it burned miraculously. Uh, for eight days because it normally doesn't last that long you have to keep adding oil to the lamp and uh, adding the wick or whatever that's in the oil that causes it to burn and uh, uh, on the fifth day 
was the day where it almost went out. Uh, that's why it's called the Dark Day of Hanukkah. That's the going to be the one, two, three, four. Yeah, the fifteenth, which is at with the coinciding of the new moon, thus the dark day of Hanukkah. And uh, uh, so that, back in 2017 for Hanukkah, the fifth dark day of Hanukkah, on the 17th of December 2017 was the sign from John's revelation about the dragon. And I'm sure all of you already know all of that because you guys are smart and you know all about your scriptures and the signs of the latter days and giving the middle finger to Nelson who says that there is no such thing as a second coming. Although, yes, he did say that the Christian Jesus is coming again and everybody will know <laughs> and will just accept that he is God and will crown him as king of kings uh, yeah if Kronos and Kodos came down to earth and said we are Jesus Christ <laughs> we are here to be the king of kings lord of lords would you seriously let them <laughs> the stranger who comes from outer space Nobody knows Jesus. How do you know he's Jesus? Oh, I just gonna feel it. <laughs> he's riding on Pegasus. He's got magical powers. We are going to obey him because we don't want to be smitten. <laughs> oh, so he's a bully. Okay, that's the God of love, peace, joy, happiness, long suffering, meekness, kindness, brotherly. <laughs> Uh-huh, okay. So, yeah, I, nobody's going to know. It's the sign of his coming that John talks about with Pegasus, which is a constellation. And so, thus, he is riding on the back of Pegasus, which means he's in Pisces. And, uh... As I told you in a previous video, of which I hinted at, and didn't go into specific details because nobody's interested, he was born on the 17th of March, 1970. And so for him to come riding in on, in the constellation of Pisces, uh, is uh, uh, interesting, but it's a total solar eclipse. It's the third day of darkness. And if you remember your Book of Mormon stories that my teacher tells to me all about the Lamanites in ancient history. Because it's history, Travis. After the three days of darkness, who should my wondering eyes do appear but Jesus floating down on Pegasus. Yeah. They don't have Pegasus there, do they? It's just Jesus. Yeah. Huh. Well, I wonder how they messed that up. <laughs> and so thus I did my picture of the Americas, the native historical correct Americans in the painting, looking up and in seeing the sign from Revelation of Pegasus and the total solar eclipse on the 8th of April 2024. That's what that's referring to. <clears throat> and isn't it interesting that Nelson says instead that Jesus Christ is going to come. And he's not telling us the date of 8 April 2024, is he? He's keeping that under wraps. But guess what's going to happen on the 6th of April, 2024? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to have the Salt Lake Temple rededicated. Yay! Carved in stone of his glorious star. The inverted pentagram falling from heaven. Uh-huh. 
because that's the symbol of Mormonism, the inverted pentagram of Lucifer. So yes, I was horrified yesterday when he announced that Mormon's God is Lucifer. He already pulled the stunt back in April of uh, the idol God of Lucifer, because Lucifer delights in idols, idol worshiping. And that's what Nelson did. He put the church as the cornerstone, and upon the cornerstone is built their God. What? No, Travis, no. Jesus is the cornerstone with the apostles and the prophets. Yeah, well, that's not how Nelson set it up. That's the symbol. Jesus, which is the statue Jesus, is on top of the church, which he said was the cornerstone. And all Mormons go, Yay! Aaron, you made us a golden calf! Yay! Yes, we're fulfilling biblical prophecy, aren't we? Uh-huh. Because, what do Mormons do? They have to continue to pay in the church. Golden calf. as the church refuses to shut down during this coronavirus. And speaking of coronavirus, uh, Renland, no updates still. No updates on the other church leaders who were affected and whom uh, Hawkins, uh, Eric Hawkins I think is the spokesperson, uh, referred to, but we have no follow-up been since the 5th, it's now two days, no follow-up. You know, who are these mysterious church leaders who wanted to shake the hand of Renland and get infected themselves, if not being the ones who were infected and got Renland infected? Because it's not safe to go to church. So, alrighty. This is this and that is that.